3 Uhr nachts. Thank God you're back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? Ja, das ist unsere Aufgabe, ne? Und damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Killer Frequency. This is our job, Peggy. We, we gotta do it. Oh, you're right. So, what's the plan now? I think we should call Virginia back. All right, I'll get her on the line. Time to turn the music off. Ja, yeah, yeah. lass mich trotzdem erstmal kurz gucken, welche Platte wir beim letzten Mal, das war die hier, Hello ich, ne? again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. Fremen Plunker here? Who's this? Is it you? Goose? Plunker, hey, it's the Radio Man, Forrest Nash. Radio Man? What's up? Solving mysteries, saving lives. The huge. Right, 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 right on. Plunker, what are you doing at Virginia's house? Sh she asked if we could stay to keep an eye out for that whistle in turd. So we're hanging out, bro. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's big of you, Plunker. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's nothing. <sighs> Can I speak to Virginia? Sure thing, Radio Man. I'll just go get her. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. Don't be sorry. You've been through a lot. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Virginia. I thought I was. I thought... Easy. We're not calling to talk about earlier. We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? What would I know? Yeah. Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. I don't know that name. Mm -hmm. What are you asking about this for? You mentioned that name earlier when you called us the first time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. Clive's the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistling. Ja, ich sag mal, wir haben Beweise gefunden. We found evidence to the contrary. But it's true. And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them and we know it's related to what's happening tonight, which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I All right. One day, I came into work to find a, a boy on my slab. And as I finished the autopsy, this man, Clive, he just burst in. And he started making demands to give over the reports, to falsify what I found. Of course I said no, but, well, when someone wants to make you do something, They can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he used both. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment if I did what he said, and that if I ever spoke about this, 
He'd beat me to within an inch of my life. I don't know why he had me do it, but... My sister needed me. You have to understand. She needed me. We understand. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Virginia. That was brave. God, I just want this nightmare to end. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. So, Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? Maybe we could have called Sandra, see what she knew. Nun ja, tut mir leid. Sandra, war das jetzt ihre Schwester? Ah, uh, well, you know, we win some and we lose some, I guess. I guess. Looks like we've got a call coming in. Okay, dann würde ich sagen, nehmen wir den doch an. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Boris. I know this is really out of the blue with everything happening tonight. But I wondered if you could send this special birthday message to my uncle. Uh, was? You want to do that now? Really? Why? Of course now. It's his birthday. I won't have a chance to do it again until next year. May as well, Forrest. Uh... Fine. What's his name? Thank you, Boris. He's my Uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter, but he never liked his name. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you'd like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my god damn it! Yes! Tell him he can get the best birthday deals and party packages here at Pony's Pizza. Start hanging just- You son of a bitch! Stop calling us! <laughs> God damn it, Peggy. This is your fault. My fault? I said I didn't want to do it. Don't blame me because Brian Ponty can't control himself. Ugh. Don't worry. We've already got another caller on the line. Just pick it up, okay? <sighs> For meals. This is 189.16, The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. <laughs> caller. Hello? <sighs> Ponty. Ponty's pizza always mm. delivers. Come rain or sleet or whistling man, we'll be there. <laughs> Forest? Forest? Are you okay? <sighs> Forest? I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Forest? Sorry, sorry, that was. that was too much. It's okay. It's been a high-stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think he's spent for now. We've got another call, whenever you're ready. Mm-hmm. Folks, don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's... all I'm gonna say about that. Moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16, The Scream, with me, Forrest Nash. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Don? We played your song, Long Ride Home. Did you hear it? Ach, die. Can you tell us? Uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling because I need your help. Uh, wir hatten eine Abmachung. Don, we had a deal. Kept my end. Who is the next target? Ach so, yeah, oh, it's too late for that now. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, fine. Chuck Brody was the next target, but that ship sailed. 
Ja, hättest du es nur gesagt, genau. How did you know it was Chuck? Well, if I tell you, I might just put more people in danger. People are already in danger. This might help. Force, I don't have time. I need your help. Do you mean... Yes, he's after me now. You? I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. Hmm. Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next, after Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. So I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system has me locked out. I need you to help me get inside. Hmm. Ich finde es ein bisschen seltsam. Also sie sagt, das neue System hat sie ausgesperrt. System heißt für mich, man muss einen Code eingeben. Und sie hat ja jetzt gerade sowas gesagt wie, ich soll ihr den Code geben, ne? wenn ich das jetzt gerade richtig verstanden habe. Sie weiß ja wohl den Code von ihrer eigenen Wohnung. Jetzt bin ich ein bisschen, weiß ich nicht. Can a neighbor let you in? Oh, I only moved in last week. I don't know anybody yet. There's not even a buzzer here, only the the keypad for the entry code. I need that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the New Woodside apartment building and a trailer park. I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. <laughs> Shit. Mhm. Mm Laute Gegend, ja, das stimmt. Keine Hundeliebhaberin. Sounds like a noisy part of town. It is. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. This night can't get any... The whistling man. He's coming down the street. I don't think he's seen me yet. Forrest, please. I need your help. I need the code for that security system. Or I'm gonna die. Nachbarn alarmieren. Name des Sicherheitssystems. Can you get your neighbor's attention? That the whistling man will see me. What's your neighbor's name? I don't know my neighbors, remember? Please, I need to get in. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000. There's a keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. Starling Security. Starling Security 4000, huh? That's right. Very newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets me. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank you, Forrest. I knew I could count on you. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. All right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy while I try to break Don into her apartment. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me, or was there something... Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird about that. Yeah. Well, tell you what. We have a Starling 4000, or whatever, here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, I'm not sure who. But to help someone. Also abgesehen von dem ganzen drumherum. Okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments and somewhere Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Ja, dann rede ich halt in dem Moment, wenn ich runtergehe, alles gut. Äh, abgesehen mal von dem ganzen Moment drumherum, muss ich ganz ehrlich sagen, es gab kein Pfeifen von, von diesem Pfeifer, der ja angeblich hinter ihr her sein soll. Äh, Moment, da musste ich jetzt hier rum, ne? Ähm. Das 
Das war die Kantine. Die haben gesagt, bei Kleid sollte das sein. Es gab keinen Pfeifen und es ist sehr, sehr seltsam. Wo soll ich denn jetzt rein? Steht aber nicht, wo der die haben könnte. Ich denke mal, wenn dann irgendwo hier, oder? Also ich fand es auf jeden Fall sehr seltsam ähm, mit dem Zug. Weil, sorry, Apartment heißt für mich normalerweise, dass man da halt eben nicht wohnt, wo, wo so Züge sind und alles. Hatte ich das hier nicht schon mal durchgeguckt? Ich meine ja, aber... Sicherheitssystem, Sicherheitssystem. Boah, es kann natürlich auch sein, dass das jetzt nicht hier im Lager ist, sondern komplett woanders. Order Delivery Form. Starling must have left this by accident. The system's not even installed at Woodside. Was? Wie? Installation nicht möglich. Und er möchte einmal selbst vornehmen. Ja. Informationen. Aber das reicht denen anscheinend noch nicht. Starling 4000. Ah. User Manual. Ja, these codes should come in handy. Okay. Also ganz ehrlich, diese Geräusche machen mich wahnsinnig kürre gerade. Okay, äh, ja, ist wir hier. Also, die Codes gucken wir uns gleich an. Ich denke doch, dass wir... Oh. Okay, da steht immer noch, wir sollen Informationen suchen. Das ist nicht gut. Ähm, das tun wir mal. Können wir das hier irgendwie so, so, zack. So. Wichtig, bei der Eingabe von kurzen Anweisungen müssen aufeinanderfolgende Tasteneingaben innerhalb von 4 bis 5 Sekunden erfolgen. Vergehen 4 bis 5 Sekunden, ohne dass eine Taste gedrückt wird, wird die Eingabe als abgebrochen, muss völlig komplett wiederholt werden. Sollte ihm bei der Eingabe... Okay. Brauchen wir denn das Sicherheitssystem? Wartungsanforderungen, Alarmtest. Achtung, sämtliche Sicherheitsfunktionen werden ausgelöst. Alarmtest, Deaktivierung, Zugangscode. Okay. Hm. Warte mal, ich habe da gerade so eine ganz andere. Moment, wo war das jetzt? Geliefert, nicht installiert. Woodside Apartments, geliefert, nicht installiert. Installation nicht möglich, neue Teile erforderlich. Also bei denen ist das Ganze auf jeden Fall nicht geliefert. Das heißt, theoretischerweise könnte es bei Rollschuh-Ricky sein, wo, wo sie ist. Ja gut, Gas and Repair ist ja der, der in die Luft geflogen ist, glaube ich. Das Hospital ist, soweit ich das verstanden habe, auch mit in die Luft geflogen. Ähm, ich weiß natürlich nicht, ob es bei uns jetzt tatsächlich installiert ist. Es, ist. es kommt mir alles so ein bisschen seltsam vor. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? The Starling 4000 Security Manual. It's got a bunch of codes. Good. And did you find anything else? I saw a list of everyone else who bought the Starlink 4000. Know who was on there? Oh my god. Roller Ricky! I... Do you think we should give him a call? Is that crazy? I don't know what you'd say, but... Auf jeden Fall. That might be a good idea. Okay, one moment. I got the number here. 
patching you through. Shit. He probably can't hear it over the music. Forrest, I don't know about this. This is super weird. Just put me through to Don. I'll take care of this one way or another. Okay. If you say so. Okay. When you're ready, shut the music off. Also, Entschuldigung, ich habe schon wieder vergessen. Ich Line weiß, one. Ich weiß. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Don, are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. What's the code to the gate? Also Zugangscode nicht. Ähm, Alarmdeaktivierungscode auch nicht. Ich weiß nicht, was ein Wartungscode jetzt ist. Ich würde jetzt sagen, Aktivierungscode äh, für den Alarmtest. Das müsste eigentlich, ja, den Alarm auslösen, würde ich mal sagen. Zugangscode werde ich hier definitiv nicht geben, weil mir das Ganze echt spanisch vorkommt. Wartungscode weiß ich wie gesagt nicht, was das ist. Und Alarmdeaktivierungscode ist natürlich auch Quatsch, weil dann würde der Alarm hier deaktiviert werden. Deswegen. The code is 191519. Thank you, Forrest. inside and turn on the radio whoever that was she was trying to break into the ring she forest man you got no idea that was him that was the whistling man the alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle i don't like hurting folk but i can't let anything happen to max he's my best friend you know i listen man i'm heading back inside I'm gonna barricade that window my man thank you you and peggy can skate for free whenever you want forever That's a done deal. I... Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. You got it. Talk to you soon. Okay, Gallows Creek. Here's oh some music God. while we process what just happened. Uh, nimm mal einfach irgendeine Platte. So. So, the whistling man is a woman? Scheint so. Moment, ich kann sofort antworten. <lacht> ich weiß, ich kann es nicht glauben. Ich hatte schon so meinen Verdacht. Ja, gerade hatte ich den Verdacht, ja. Aber vorher hatte ich den nicht. Das muss ich ja ganz ehrlich sagen. War mir schon seit einer Weile klar. Nee, nee, das nicht. I know. I, I can't believe it. She called up. You spoke to her multiple times. Sie wirkte ziemlich normal. Sie wusste doch, sie ist nicht ganz normal. Wenn ich so darüber nachdenke. Sie hat ja angerufen. Aber da hat man das... Ach nee, Moment, das war die, die andere. Nee, nee, das war die, die wir davor angerufen hatten. Ähm. Yeah, she seemed pretty normal. Why do you think she requested that song? Genau die war das nämlich. Um mich nach draußen zu locken. Ja, das definitiv. To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Das ist okay, so you're live in three, <laughs> two... Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman. 
One who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. Hier sind alle Nachbarn, passt aufeinander auf. Ich sage es ungern. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. The killer was calling themselves Don. Dies könnte ein falscher Name sein. Ja, yeah, ja, das äh, definitiv. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. Hopefully our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. You're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, man. Murphy? Damn straight. What's going on, Murphy? You in danger again? No, nah, man. I've just been listening to the show here at home. And since you asked folks to call in if they could help out, well, I'm calling. I don't know if I can say as much as other folks have, but uh, I figure... I wouldn't be a good role model to Fernando if I didn't try to help, you know? You're a good father, Murphy. Absolutely. Fernando's a lucky kid. Oh, thanks. So, uh, what do you want to know? Well, what can you tell us? Him. Uh, I don't know, really. All right. Well, do you know anything about the death of George Barrow? Absolutely nothing. Okay. What about the killer herself? Herself? <laughs> Man, I, I didn't get my ass kicked by a lady. <laughs> the I went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, it was a man, man. You heard the last call, right, Murphy? Yep. So you know it's a woman, and you were trained by a VHS, Murphy. I, I know, but... Man, how could it have been a woman under that mask? Let's just move on. Do you know... Anything about the history of the Whistling Man? No, sir. Tonight's the first time I ever heard of him. What? I moved here three years ago, man. What do you want from me? Moment. Der war doch in Not. Oder? Und der eine hatte doch gesagt, dass der, dass der die Morde nur damit zu tun hatten, mit den Leuten, die er kannte? Hey man, no worries, just thank you for trying. Right. Sorry I couldn't help you all more, man. Now, if you'd have asked me about gators. Forrest, we have a call coming in. Sorry, Murphy, I think that's all we've got time for right now. Uh, all right, all right. I'll catch y'all with the gator talk later. Not. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, that was a bust. But perhaps our next caller has more they can tell us. Let's find out. Ja, aber ehrlich gesagt, ich bin mir jetzt gerade nicht sicher. Ich denke mal, dass wahrscheinlich der nächste Anruf... Call nichts... waiting. Better take it. Ja, They halt doch mal die help. Klappe, Piggy. Ich muss mal eben auf die Pause drücken. Ich denke mal, dass der nächste Anruf wahrscheinlich nichts darüber sagen wird, wer der Mörder ist, sondern dass das wahrscheinlich, ich bin mir natürlich nicht sicher, wieder eine Anfrage ist äh, mit, einer, mit einem Hilfegeruf. Hilfe gerufen. Na, ihr wisst, was ich meine. Deswegen würde ich sagen, machen wir hier erstmal einen kleinen Cut und ähm, ja, sehen dann in der nächsten Folge mal nach, wer angerufen hat, beziehungsweise ob wir da eventuell doch noch Informationen kriegen oder nicht. Sollte doch noch eine Information sein und dann ein besserer Cut dazwischen sein, dann schneide ich das ein bisschen zurecht. Aber ansonsten sehen wir den Rest dann in der nächsten Folge. Ciao! Vielen Dank für dein Like. Wenn du mehr davon sehen möchtest, dann darfst du mich auch gerne abonnieren.